Hello and welcome to this Xplain 10 tutorial on how to install and use the AutoGate plugin. Now, one important thing to note is that AutoGate won't work in every airport. You need to be using a scenery that was specifically designed for use with AutoGate. Okay, so first thing we're going to want to do is go to the download page. I have the link below the video and here I would have it bookmarked so I'll just get right to the download page. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have a free explain.org account. Now having an account is good because if you have an explain.org account you get access to a lot of add-ons for explain. So we're just going to select download, wait for the download process to start. There we go. The download is really fast, so we're going to unzip the file. Okay, open up AutoGate. There's three files. The README file just has some installation instructions. The pilot instruction file just has some instructions on how to use the plugin itself, but we're interested in the AutoGate folder. Now, before we go any further, we're going to open up the Xplane 10 folder. Okay, and we're going to go to Resources. Yep, resources, then plugins. And then back in the AutoGate folder, which we've opened, there is the Mac.xpl, Windows.xpl, and Linux.xpl. Since I'm running Macintosh, I'll put in Mac. But as you can see, I already have it in there, so I won't put it in again. So that's just to show you how you do it. There we go. Okay, so here I am running Xplane 10. And the scenery I'm using is a scenery for San Diego International Airport. Um, I will have the scenery download link in the description or below the video if you're viewing this on our website. So what I'm going to do right now is to go into gate 44, which if you see my mouse clicks, is right over there. Now if I zoom in... Um, let's see, yeah, right. Let me do that again. If I zoom in, you see there's a human marshaller, and he will direct my plane to the correct position on the gate. Okay, so let me just... My engines are already on, so I'm just going to release the brake, and I'm going to make our way towards the gate. Just start turning now. And I'm going to switch to this view, which is basically inside the cockpit, but without any of the instruments showing. So as you can see, the controller is telling us to go straight a bit this way. Yep, there we go. As you can see, we're currently sitting in the pilot seat, and the marshaller uh, turned us in and is now just telling us to go straight. I'm going to bring the power down because he's getting ready for the final thing. So he's raising his hands up, that means he's almost done. Okay, his batons are crossed, so I'll apply the brake. And as you can see, we are parked in position. If I go inside the cockpit, what I'm going to do, without making sure my parking brake is on, I'm going to cut the fuel to the engines. And if we go back outside, we see that the jetway is going to the aircraft, which wouldn't happen if we didn't have the auto gate plug-in. You can see, jetway is coming on. Now, one thing you're going to have to know is that the plane has to have its boarding door location set in Plane Maker. But well, once it does, you see the jetway just connects right onto this United 737 in the San Diego. Okay, so we've now made it to Dallas International Airport with, once again, the download link for the scenery being below the video. But we've come to Dallas to see the other type of marshalling system. We've already seen the human marshaller, now we're going to see the electronic marshaller. So if I jump, yep, 
right, there we go. Jump into my pilot view, release the brakes, I'm gonna slowly move toward it, and if you can see the sign, I'm the y little yellow dot on the bottom, and I'm supposed to aim plane towards the center line on the sign. Okay. Now we're going to aim all the way to the top over there, making sure we're level. Okay, almost there. And there we go, it said stop, so I put on the brakes. Now, if you would have gone too far over the distance you needed to, it'd say too far, and then you'd either need to reverse thrust or push back. So I'm going to jump into this view again. Now, cut power to the engines. So you can see the sign now says OK, and the jetway is coming up to the plane. Just like in San Diego, but this time an electronic sign did the marshalling. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to install and use the AutoGate plugin for X-Plane. Um, please visit our website, fandegear.ga, for most posts, I'm sorry, more posts on aviation and technology. Thank you for watching.